What's good, Rangers fans? It's Randy, and we are finally here for the opening week of the GBA D-League Season 4. Of course, Week 1, we are slated up against the Calgary Infernapes, coached by A.A. Ron 2420. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel in the description below, of course. Every coach we face, of course, we'll always link them. So make sure you give him a look. He has a great content, great quality. That's like this fantastic quality. Um, give him a little bit of a shout out. He actually helped me out with Citra and stuff like that. Some questions I had. So that's something to note just about Lori Battle. Um, also, I didn't shout out my front office and my team builder, um, Aaron Barden and Youngster Bill for helping me build. Um, so yeah, those guys will be the ones building for me pretty much throughout the throughout the entire season. Unless stated otherwise. So I'm making sure the team is perfectly good here. I'm using my other 3DS, my other capture card. This is on a standard 3DS, so hopefully it doesn't disconnect or nothing like that. But I will say it looks pretty, um, this capture card, like the, the graphics look pretty solid. I guess when I changed my GPU, I guess it got better. Or maybe Loopy had an update or something. But um, it looks a little better, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, anyways. Um, I'm excited. Obviously, the Rangers are going to go hashtag undefeated. That, that's the uh, the motto. Um, hopefully, we don't drop week one. Uh, that would be kind of bad. Um, but I'm confident in the team we have here. It looks pretty solid. And, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into week one of the GBA D-League. So, here we are with the Thunders. By the way, guys, I, I also I think it's very important that you guys write down your team when you battle, even though the game tells you what's there, I found success when writing down the team. Especially if you do live. I mean, every battle's live, but when you upload, it won't be. It might not be live. So, all right. So, a bit of a mixed. I haven't. I faced this squad in my second mock, except they had Volcanion over the Sylveon. So, I do think there is a trick remote here. I, I do 100%. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be. But I do expect it to be. Um, I just do. I, I feel that way for sure. Um, I've been leading Lopony and all, or Hobunny in all my mocks. These nick nick nicknames are subject to change, by the way. I kind of just threw some names together because we're battling a little early, earlier than expected. Um, yeah, so... Pretty decent here. I gotta identify what's gonna be helping me win this game. Um, Barbarical's looking pretty solid, although it's pretty good. Barbarical's actually a legitimate win con. I can set up on maybe a Spec Sylveon locked into HP Fire or Shadow Ball. Can Memento it, obviously. Kangaskhan, if it is a Wish variant like I do expect it to be, then I can also set up on that. As long as it doesn't have like something like, uh, I guess, what, Low Kick or Dream, or I don't think it's Dream Punch, but like Power Punch or something. Earthquake, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, Thunder Punch is something I've seen in Mox, but it won't kill me if uh, if he's not really too offensive. So let's go ahead and, and throw down here. So Token, that's uh, the bell. Okay, Bronze Song. Okay, so not a, not a horrible... This is exactly how my my first mock went. He led with this thing. Um, she's gonna go for the fake out to test the waters and see if he's running Rocky Helmet. Um, I almost want a low kick turn two because I don't think he's gonna stay in and go for Dara Ball. But that's something I can't risk. That's something I cannot risk, like ever. Um, I, I expected to have Helmet. I, I do, but it could be it could be Colbert. I don't I don't know for sure. Um, Maybe leftovers actually. Okay, interesting. So we know he's not Colber. Um, not that it really matters too much. Um, Vision's my only switch in here. And I can get up my rocks here. If he gets up rocks here and then goes into Hydreigon, that's cool. Because of Trick Room. Yeah, so there's Trick Room. So that's, that's what we expected. That's what we were seeing. Hmm. Okay, so we have four turns left here. He's probably going to get up rocks. And there's Toxic. That's cool. Okay. So in Mach, I actually faced Light Screen. That was what we saw in Mox. But um, we see, so far we've seen uh, Trick Room, Toxic, probably Stealth Rock. 
Um, I want to say explosion could be the play, but I don't. I don't see explosion being here. I just don't. So I don't mind being toxic. Because realistically, this only thing this, this the only thing this mon does is uh, get up rocks and just mementos. So that's cool. Go for knockoff right here in case he wants to get up his own rocks. Because we're just stalling trick room at this point, so I don't mind. I don't mind this whatsoever. And knocking off leftovers is going to be pretty crucial if I want to take this thing down later on with my barracle or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And now I can just U-turn for free on the final turn of, or on the second to last turn of trick room, I think. Yeah, so U-turn's pretty damn safe here. I'm going to be slower, if you will. So if he opts to boom or um, hard switch into something, that's cool. Then we'll draw perfect. So we get an initiative here. And from there, we can just fake out. Or, yeah, fake out seems to be the play. Although if he is fizz def, I don't want to mess around with this a little bit. So... Um, but, I mean, Celesteel is the play, I think, 100% of the time. So, uh, for sure. And we can find out if he is Trick Room. I mean, if he's, like, uh, like mint speed here. That's something to note as well. Capella. Okay. So, we'll see if he's Leftovers or not, or Specs or something like that. We do see Leftovers. Okay. So, I am, I guess, faster. Get out my seeds, I think. Don't have to worry about sub right now. Hmm. Calm mind is something that worries me just a little bit, but if he's calm mind, that probably means he's more offensive and low bunny can break through it. We both have rocks up. Definitely hinders him more than me because he's got Dundee and that uh, Hydreigon. Hydreigon's not weak to it, but weakening that's pretty useful. And he does bring it in here. Landing this is going to be pretty huge. Great. Go, Capella. Alright, that's good. I can't get over how good this capture card looks. I'm not sure what's happened, but, uh... Nice. So get up the seeds there. He can't be a Z-Crystal. I, I don't expect him to be Specs, so I'm kind of tempted just to go for the, uh... Either the double Leech Sheet or just to Protect straight up. I think Protect makes sense, because if he goes Heart Thunderous, he's not going to be Z-Electric, and I've been talking about this in the prep. He's not going to be Z-Thunderbolt. I could just Stone Edge off the bat there, so... I think protect makes sense. I think, I think it just does. He does stay in, which is perfect. He could defog, but I'm not sure if that works under protect. I haven't really messed around with that too much. He does U-turn there, which is perfect. Great. Um, although this could be kind of a bait, so to speak. It could be. Um, not that it really matters, because like I said, I don't really care about taking Fire Blast, because I can just recover the next turn, so... I think Heavy Slam is the play. I could double leech though, but he's gonna go ahead and go for U turn. That's cool. I think double leech was the right play. Mm. Or not double leech, but leeching again. Um, but getting that thing down is pretty nice. U turn. He's definitely not gonna have Roost with U turn, I don't think. He could, but I don't think so. Um, this is probably gonna be either Bronzong or the Hariyama, if I had to guess, but. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, what is this going to be? Thunderous. Okay, that's interesting. Because I have rocks up. Heavy Slam does around, what, I think maximum 35%. So I'm okay with this damage here. That's pretty good damage. Okay. All right, so like I said, there's no way he's going to be Z Thunderbolt. He could be, though. Like, I'm not saying he... I just don't see it. Now, is that something I'm going to risk here? I don't think it's worth risking because of how low he is. I think Vision makes sense, but if he nasty plots, that's not going to be an issue either. I think Vision makes the most sense here. And I, I do. Yeah, let's just go Vision right here. I think this makes the most sense. There's no need to risk it. Nasty Plot isn't a big threat because if he just knocks out Vision, I go in a low pony. I got Fake Out and Quick Attack, so I, that should be fine. Um, he actually is running Bulk Up. Interesting. So Defiant. That's what I was also expecting a little bit here. He could be Charty. Um, he doesn't get Roost, but he does get Rest, though. I'm going to U-turn right here. 
He's not gonna be rest talk. There's just no way. There's no way. I'm not gonna memento. That's just playing with fire. Um, I'm pretty sure he's still in range of ice shard, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Even if he were to go to plus two, but if he's, mm, I think low pony makes more sense because he's no, he's not gonna be faster. I mean, we already know that already. So, um, yeah, low pony fake out and like frustration works. Bulk up's there. Okay, bulk up. He has bulk up. I don't think he's going to be rest talk. We'll find out before I even come into a mon. So, um, he's not citrus berry. Obviously, we know that already. He's not, we don't know if he's charty yet. Um, now, if he's bulk up with charty, would be interesting. I, I don't think that would be the play. He's probably Z fly. Um, although I'm not sure why Z fly would be would the, be the play to begin with. I think Z wall charge probably would be the play if he's physical. Or he could be all out pummeling with superpower. Here's Gigabolt. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. I honestly... I think we could take this, but I could be uh, underestimating this thing. Uh, I've used one of these things before, obviously. Thunderous is awesome. Thunderous is heavily underrated, I think. Well, there's no way I'm going to live that. Look where I was at in HP. So, um, my vision goes down. That's, that's fine. Um. Okay, run that down for my layout later. Um. Not when he makes sense. Don't want to take too much rock damage. He could have T-Wave. That's something that worries me, but if Fake Out does two shot from here, obviously Quick Attack will be the play. Um, is that in range? There's no way he's going to be prankster while being physical. That's something that I should probably take note of. But I think revealing quick attack isn't a big deal. Okay, knock it out. Nice. I mean, he could have just been quickly sacking it. That's something to note as well, but... Um, I don't want to risk any sort of... Anything. Like, I don't want to risk anything, so... Um, that's why I decided to do that. Okay, so... Big threat out of the way. Still, still looking pretty ni nice here, because... His only two ways to break in is Hydreigon and Hariyama. I guess Kang, too, but... I don't see that being the case. So, Hydreigon comes in. This is a Screaming Scarf. Uh, which is what we assumed anyway, because he has nothing else to outrun his bunny. Um, don't have a switch anymore, really. Um, now, one thing I need to check out real quick is his speed, because if Timid Scarf hits, because I need it, because if he's lock, let's say he locks himself in a fire blast, right? Um. So 247.5. So 248. He will be faster than my Barbarical if I'm at plus 2, which is something that's a little annoying. But he can't kill it anyway. With Draco, I don't think. If I have my Herb. I think he's in a U-turn, but we'll see. He's in a Draco, that's perfect. Okay. So now we get up free seeds, or we can just slam straight up. I think slam makes more sense. But seed could be probably be the play in case he wants to go Hariyama. Um, hmm. I think seed makes more sense. Let's go for lead seed. This is looking pretty nice. This is looking pretty good. Hydreigon's weakened. Bronzong's a little bit shipped down. I have rocks up. They're here to stay, I think, unless the thing is carrying defog. Um, this looks to be a Scarfer. That's Scarf damage. Um, if he isn't Scarf, then... I mean, he's Scarf. There's no way he isn't Scarf. Like, there's just no way. Um, that's Kang. Yeah, that's all in his, his document. Um, and Heavy Slam actually still does good damage to this thing. Because of the weight. But Wish could be the play here now. Which is a little annoying. And this could be an opportunity for Barbarical. 
But if he's modest scarf hydrating on out speed, if he sped crept a little bit, which is what I'm expecting him to have done. But then again, he could have expected uh, something else. So, um, I really want to go hard at low bunny. I really do. Really, really do. Mm. But that's just risking it for no reason. He could have T-Punch. Um, I'm going to slam just to test the waters and see what happens. If he wishes, I think I'm going to go hard Barbarical. But hmm, if he's fake out Wish, I'm not sure if he would have Protect and Facade or Toxic. That's the that's the, the biggest question now. He does have a real Wish. That's something we were expecting. Um, I, and I don't think I should risk it uh, switching in now. Because he could switch to like something like his Hydreigon or something. But he would have to protect here. No, he has to protect. There's no way he would just... Like, there is no way he would let this thing be this low. Like, there's actually no way. Hmm... I'm just going to leech it in case he switches, but I don't think he will. Yeah, okay. So we've seen Wish and Protect. I want to say he probably doesn't have Fake Out, but he could. But this is an opportunity to set up. It all just depends on what the Hydreigon's speed is. That's that, that's going to be key to this, and if he has T-Punch or not. But we've seen Wish and Protect. Um, I, I want to say he probably doesn't have Fake Out. Like, I just want to say that, but I can't risk it. So um, let's just slam again. And there's T-Punch. Okay, so... He does Paralyze, which is annoying. He does 60 dam or does 70 damage to me. And then you get Paralyzed, which is annoying, but... It is what it is. So... I can't set up on this thing, then. Which is a little unfortunate. I mean, I'm sure Barb can take a hit. Like, I think it can... He could just be like a max HP variant. Like, I don't know what his spread is right now. But we can figure it out right now. So he's definitely not running... Uh... Oh, man. He's not running any... That did 70 damage. Or was it 60? That was a min roll, I think. So I think Barbarical can actually snack on that. I think it can. It can, it can take a hit pretty. It can hit it take a hit pretty nicely. So that's something to note throughout the game. Um. Let's go right into Bunny. I think that's the right play. No, that's not the right play. Because then he could just wish right here. Then I'm going to slam again. I'm going to wish. Okay. I'll get a crit, which is pretty cool. Because the crit's going to kill him. I think it's the sequels before, right? It does. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting that hacks, man. Hashtag undefeated. So, seed kills. Oh, man. That sucks, though. Not only for him, but a little bit for me. Because I could have set up on that thing, I think. But, Bronzong, we've seen Toxic Rocks Trick Room. He has to have Gyro Ball. But Trick Room pretty much counters my... Uh, um... My Barbarical. I think Barbarical is a sack now, like, no matter what. I think it is, like, for sure. Um, mm, I mean, not necessarily. But I think it makes the most sense, because I don't have a switch into this thing. Like, I don't want to risk him being substitute, either. 
I think Bob makes the most sense. Because if he goes for knockoff, it doesn't matter. If he goes to close combat, he's down to minus one defense. Then Bunny comes in and just starts doing work. I think this makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. And you see leftovers. So this is almost this is like almost what we faced. Um, he's not leftovers. Why did he recover HP? Oh, wish. My bad. Just wish. Uh, liquidation does pretty good damage here to anything that wants to come in because his tough claws boosted. Barbaric was like a damn truck, man. Bob is Bob's coming in and he's gonna do some work right here. Looking pretty good for the Rangers so far. Got that crit, which sucks so bad, but. Oh, I, I hate hacks, man. I mean, I don't hate it. It's part of the game we play. It makes it interesting, but like... <laughs> poor a Aaron. He's looking to knock off the second place. The runner-up of last year in his first week. But, uh... That looks like it's, not, that looks like it's in, you know, pretty, uh... Bad shape right now. So, as you see, Liquidation is a clear two-shot. And from here... I could bring in Bunny. And I think we can afford the low kick. I think. But I do want a frustration. That makes more sense, I think. I think. Low kick makes some sense, though. This is where I wish I wanted. Actually, no, Power Punch wouldn't have been helpful here at all. Um, Bronzong doesn't have leftovers. Sylveon's still here, so... I think he just sacks this off, but... I'm gonna just go for the frustration. I think that's safe. He'll probably sack this, I think. But then again, if he sacks this, he's not killing Steel. But Steel is paralyzed, so he'll probably just stay in. He's gonna withdraw. Probably should have low kicked here. No, I forgot what that was already. So Bianca, okay, great. So it's gonna be frustration there. Um, we'll see if this two shots. I am min happiness. I hope, or else it's gonna do no damage. Oof, that's kind of a. Uh, that's a kill, I think, for sure. Is it worth risking? Absolutely. <laughs> I just said, I'm going for it. Going for protect. Okay. Okay. He took only two turns of rock damage. And then I first... I think this still... Actually, no. It looks a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP. But then again, I think it does kill. Is this worth risking? I think it is. But Hariyama could be a threat later. I mean, no. I mean, not really. Oof. I think it kills. I think it kills. I'm going for it. Because we're the Rangers and we risk it all for no reason. Nice. I think it did kill. I don't think it was any risk. I don't think it was a risk at all. Um, nice, man. I think Bunny just kind of just seals the deal here. He's seen quick attack already. There's Bronzong. I can go for a low kick here. Uh, I don't even have to, but he could trick room, which is what I expect him to do. I mean, I've already risked it once. I might as well just risk it again. I'm going to go for the low kick. HJK would have probably come close to killing. Trick Room's there. And I think Low Kick is the right play once again. I think. Let me see how much Gyro Ball does out of curiosity. I actually never calculated this, which is pretty sad on my part. Uh, let's give it a look here. Alright, Gyro Ball does 58 to 69%. That's not bad. Um, He could have Boom, though. Uh, would he have Boom? I don't think he would, man. Like, but Boom does only a slightly more. It actually has a chance to do less. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna kick low kick again. Anyway, he doesn't have a switch anymore. Gyro Boss, cool. That's fine. So we knock this thing out. Low Pony is coming in week one and saying, you know what? I'm going to be the best ranger this season. Okay. Does quick attack kill? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but fake out the quick attack should. 
There's no way he can recover. He could have Vacuum Wave. That, that's a possibility. Quick attack one kill, I don't think. Um, I mean, I think it's still worth risking because I can just Ice Shard to win the game. They did no damage. Alright, so Haryama knocks me out. Probably should have took the differential. But, you know me, guys. It doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so we know he's guts. Uh, I think Shard should be able to come in and pick up the kills. Oh, he got a bullet punch, though. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Um, I'm about to sack off something. Let me see this. I think I can still live it, but... Obviously, I gotta find out for Sir first if we do. Um, I think we do. I mean, it's not even stab, so like, it shouldn't matter. Oh yeah, it's only forty six percent. So we can just shard twice and win the game. He doesn't even have it. Looks like facade, close combat, maybe, and that should be the game. Hariyama goes down. Kills the Harry. And all I gotta do is click Shard again. Or I can even click Crash if I wanted to. But Shard is already pretty much a safe play. I think. I think. Let me double check this. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And the Rangers, for the second year in a row, will pick up a 3-0 win to kick off the GBA D-League. And guys, I thank you all for watching. Of course, good game to Aaron. He gave me a pretty good fight there. Um, I, I just think I had a pretty good prep there. Those two mocks definitely helped me out because I was ready for Trick Room, um, and I was, and I, I mean, I knew I was ready for Kangaskhan because the I knew it was probably gonna run that wish set. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a good good battle, good start to the season. Um, good strong start. Three O is always a pretty good differential. Could have been four O if I had preserved a little bit, but. I mean, I don't care about differential. Like, I'm not like that. But um, nonetheless, good game to Aaron. Make sure you guys do check them out. And yeah, the Rangers pick up a pretty comfortable victory there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out who we're gonna face next week. Next week we take on the Baltimore Orioles, coached by newcomer, uh, coached by I don't know why his name isn't on his sheet. Um, Sorry, I don't know everyone's name, man. It's it's pretty sad. Oh, CJ, Troy CJ, uh, CJ's awesome. He's a he's a good voice, by the way. Just a side note there, but uh, yeah, guys, that is it for week one of the GBA D League season four. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be back next week when we take on CJ and his Baltimore Orioles. Hashtag undefeated. Go Rangers.